Welcome guys back to TechExpress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your GoDaddy domain directly into your Shopify store. It's going to be a really easy process. The very first thing you want to do is to purchase a domain directly into GoDaddy. So if I go directly here into GoDaddy.com, what you want to do is to log in or create an actual account really easy. I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free. Now that you have an actual GoDaddy account, what you want to do is to locate the actual account and go directly into domains. Here into domains, what I can do is to look out for a new domain so I can purchase it. So if I go back directly here into GoDaddy.com, Let's go into domains and here type domain would you like to purchase. Then hit into search and domains and you can look out for a lot of domains that you can purchase depending on how would you like to pay. For example, this one for the first year is only $1.136. So choose the one that best suits for yourself, add it to the card and purchase it. Once you purchase your domain, you might locate it directly into your account. Let's go into the upper side and go for my products. Here, what you wanted to do is to locate the product that you have just uh, purchased. In this case, this domain. So I'm going to go here into my domains. And as you can see here, the domain that we already have. So let's go here into manage. Now that we have already been set it up, let's set the things up directly here into Shopify. For that, let's go back directly into Shopify and let's sign in. You have the link down below in the description just in case you haven't claimed an actual great deal for Shopify. Now that you have signed up directly here into Shopify, what I wanted to do is to go into the domains of Shopify. So I'm going to hit into settings. Inside settings, let's locate the love pod and scroll a little bit down until we find the section that says domains. Here into domains, you can see that we have an actual free domain generated by Shopify, which in this case is this one. If you want to, you can create a new Shopify domain, which is totally for free. But in this case, I wanted to connect an existing domain. So let's click into connect existing domain. And now here, what you want to do is to go back into the GoDaddy, copy the URL that you have just purchased this domain and you paste it in here. Now that you created that, what you wanted to do is to go directly once again into your domain. Let's go. into domain, I go for manage DNS. Directly here into manage DNS, you might see that we have a lot of information about your domain. So what you wanted to do is to create a new domain record. If you see that there's a lot of records here, what you wanted to do is to delete all of these records, specifically the C name, the A name, and so much more. So in this case, I'm going to select the elements I do not want to see. For example, this four, this TXT, and lastly, this A record. So now I hit now into delete. So now that I have deleted all the DNS records, you should see that I only have one or two DNS. For example, we have the NS and the SOA. If I go back and I hit into next, we should have the connect existing account. So if you go for just follow the setting instructions, this will be sending you directly into an article that can help you how to get started. But just go directly here into verify connection. Of course, this one says that it's not completed. So you don't have to worry about that. What you want to do is to make sure that you choose here your domain. And Shopify is going to be providing us with an actual information, for example, the CNAME records. So what we need to do is to create an actual new direction and add it directly into the GoDaddy. Let's go back into GoDaddy. Let's go into add new record. And here's going to be asking us to add a CNAME record. So I type CNAME, the name, I'm going to leave it into triple W. And the value should be shopsmyshopify.com. The TTL just leave this as it is and go for safe. Lastly, what you can do is to add a new DNS record. For example, here, the Shopify address. So I can go back here, have the type. I can go for A. I usually leave the name with A or triple W. And lastly, the value should be exactly this one. So I copy it. I paste it into the value and let's go for safe. As you can see, the URL is now been taking me directly inside here to Shopify. So once you have successfully done this, what you wanted to do is to make sure that once you are back here into Shopify, you wanted to go here into the previous URL that you currently had, for example, this uh, 8691 and change that. I'm going to select my new URL and I choose my domain type and I change this for primary domain. 
I change this for the primary domain and once you hit into view this one should be the exactly website that is new inside Shopify. And that guys is how you can actually make sure that everything works correctly. You have successfully connected your GoDaddy domain into the Shopify store. So guys, having this custom domain is a great way to make your store look professional and trustworthy. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully you can all see you next time.